In today's Anime Ventures video, we will be going over all these scams in Anime Ventures, including the new one, because there is kind of a recent scam that not many people are talking about, and that especially high end traders will fall for. But we will be going over every single trading scam in the game. Some might not even be related to trading, but it's still technically a scam, but it must be trading scams. So, yeah. I'm gonna go over all of them. So all the things I ask you to do is to subscribe to the channel. Please make it 14k just to make it a little bit reasonable by the end of this year. I'm um, technically by the end of this month. So let's try hit 14k by the end of this month. We're gonna put up the grind, especially with the Christmas update. So please do subscribe. And another thing I ask you to do is to like this video. Why? Because if you like this video, more people are gonna see this video. It's gonna spread more awareness, and more people are gonna be where it gets the scams. Because even if you guys probably know about these scams, it doesn't mean everyone does. So you gotta do is you know click the like button and comment down below if I miss anything or you wanna point out anything to anyone that. You know, I might not have pointed out, like, you want to point out a certain scam that I have, might have not talked about, or what people are doing, or maybe you want to talk about your own experiences, see if other people, like, you know, have felt some experience. But yeah, go join my Discord server down below if you want to find W Trades, and I think that's pretty much it. Let's get straight into the video. Okay, so the first thing, and the most, like, newest problem, I guess you could say, is the the skin type scam. It's, it's kind of like switching scamming, kind of like skin scamming. Like, yeah, we'll show you, and then you understand what I'm talking about. So, I'll send you a trade, and then... First we'll show a Hummer, so put in a regular Hummer with the with the uh, Halloween skin. Okay, so this is Hummer regular with the Halloween skin, right? This is not shiny. You, you can see just it just looks like a regular Hummer. Now put uh, pretend you're trading for shiny, uh, switch it out for a shiny version. See how it looks exactly the same. People will easily just switch scam. And I've seen a lot of people fall for this. I, I know some people try to say not to fall for it or whatever. But I don't see many people talk about it, especially on YouTube. But as you can see it literally looks the exact same the shiny and the regular version looks the exact same so plenty you're training for shiny and they have the skin on you can easily because easily get a switch scammed if you don't just click on it which you might not do for training quite fast something only if you just like a little spark thing you'll know pretty much so what i highly recommend is you click do shiny like you could do the same for gilgamesh for example so if you show gilgamesh it look the exact same uh with the skin if he's not shiny and if he's shiny and it, i'm pretty sure it goes for a lot of units with skins i don't know if it's every single one but uh, be careful so this is shiny gilgamesh with the skin um and yeah the regular one literally looks the exact same but just just not shiny so that's probably one of the biggest uh scams going on that a lot of people talk about so yeah um and yeah we'll go into the uh, other scams now i know i just showed you switch scams but it doesn't happen for just skins it actually happens for regular units now there are like easy like most more obvious switch scams but i'm going to be going over the less obvious things that you might fall for and units you definitely want to watch out for when you trade for so one of them being shiny unahana now i'm not going to go over all of them i'm going to go over the more high value units the ones that i know there might be units that i don't say and i don't mention that i don't know so leave it, let me know in the comments down below but one is shiny unahana i put a shiny and a regular one on the screen at the same time just to see how similar they look especially in a trade they look very very similar and then another example is shiny she's with his regular and his shiny looks so so similar and then yeah they like commonly switch scam and the last one be the most similar and the probably the one of the worst is shiny miss ninja and regular miss ninja and the problem with this is he keeps increasing the value so people keep wanting him he want to trade for him but that means there's more scammers obviously so yeah like people are trying to you know scam him whatever because they look insanely similar now i don't have actual like uh, unit images but trust me when you see them you'll see they look insanely similar just like you can just tell by the units so yeah I just want to point that out there. There's still other units that you can easily get switch scam for, but I'm just pointing out the more obvious ones. There might be ones I didn't point out, so let me know in the comment section down below. Let other people know, so comment down below. But, like, you know, to spread awareness, help people, you know what I mean? So just comment down below and like the video so more people see the video too. Okay, now another thing, but no, another thing is the triple S stat scamming. So, what I mean by this is, as you know, if a unit has triple S stat, like this one, for example, and it has to be tradable, obviously, it's going to have more value, obviously. And a lot of people, if the stat is higher, then it's gonna have more value and a lot of people will talk about a stat saying oh like let me show the stat right now it's, it says 11 percent right if i go to trade this right and i say i can say it's 20 percent like it's obviously cap but like people might not know this and you can't really check the stat in the trade so the best way to check this is using the annual ventures we can check the base stat and then add the percentage on like times about the percentage whatever but the thing is a lot of people get scammed because they trade for percentages that just aren't true and it's kind of hard to avoid if I'm being honest. So you just gotta use the wiki. If you're mobile, it's gonna be like impossible pretty much. You have to keep rejoining the game and things. And if they show you a screenshot, it doesn't necessarily mean it's true. It could be photoshopped, it could be through exploits or whatever. So just because it shows you a screenshot doesn't mean it's actually the stat, anyways. It can still be fake. So just be careful when it comes to trading triple S stats. I usually just avoid it. If I if like um like I wouldn't directly go for triple S stats if that makes sense. 
But I'm not saying don't do that, trade how you like, but just be careful to the scams when they come with trouble stats. Are people lying? Use Anime Ventures Wiki to get the base stat, then you could do the maths. How much would it be if it was, let's say, 21% more? And what people will also do is they'll get a curse. So, like, if they'll get a curse on their unit with trouble stats, say, oh, well, um, it's, it's less because of the curse, and then it just makes you do more maths, and then you might end up getting scammed just because they've added a curse with a trouble stat, and then they've lied, saying, oh, well, but no, it's only more because of the curse. You know what I mean? So. That's another thing when it comes to the scamming in a game when it comes to trading. Okay, for the second section of the video, it's going to be talking about the Discord scams. Now, a lot of people on Animal Ventures use Discord, especially if you're trading and you don't have Discord. I'd be very surprised. Like, people predominantly use Discord. So, I got my mods to send some examples of scam links that, um, that they found since they moderate my server. So, they've definitely found scam links during moderating my server. So, here's an example of what a scam link might look like. As you can see, it looks completely normal. No. If you look right here, it's so small, right? Can you see how there's no colon in the the little in the HTTPS HTTPS the colon is supposed to be, but it's missing. It's so small, can't even tell. So if you're on PC, what you want to do, you want to hover over the link, and you can see how it takes you to a it like it looks a little bit more obvious here. That is a fake link, Roblox, instead of Roblox. This one's clearly fake. I mean, like what's this at the end? You know what I mean? Like it's obviously fake. And then this one. That's another example how it looks like it's obviously fake. I mean, and then this, I mean, Roblox is what seems to be the most common thing. Okay, so here's an example of a link that uh, I might click. As you can see, it looks fine for now. It's a site you've never visited on Discord. It will not take you to the link. It'll actually, um, it'll warn you saying, and it'll show you the link on your screen. So it'll show, oh, uh, do you want to trust this website? You've never been there before, whatever. And it'll show you the website URL, like the actual website URL. And if it says something like, if there's something like, I don't know, Roblox, instead of Roblox, or it says something clearly not Roblox, like this, then it's obviously a scam link. Because what they'll do, they'll go on your account. If you click the link, they get your cookie or thing. So things like that. They could basically just get your account and things like that. So make sure you have two-step on and all those settings. And also make sure uh, you're not clicking these dodgy links because people are getting quite good with it. They're quite slick. And a lot of times, if you see a trade that's too good to be true, you can still DM them, but at the same time, be careful about these links. So yeah, that's the Discord thing. For the last part of the video, why not react to some of these uh, examples? I would credit literally every single video I watch. Um, I just search up Adventure Scam on YouTube just to find some examples of what I'm talking about or maybe what I'm not talking about, but it's still scamming. Because the guy's trading Yoshina for Shining on a Hana, I mean, I, I mean, you're asking to get scammed here, mate. I mean, that's not a W trade, even if you do this. But yeah, can you see how they're doing switch scam? Because look, Unohana and Shining on a Hana looks the exact same. Okay, here's another example, and now they're using, I'm assuming they're going to use Shiny Mist as the example, which I was talking about earlier, because look, they got Shiny Mist. So, uh, yeah, I'm assuming they're going to do the switch, I'm basically regular Mist and Shiny. So look, okay, this is Shiny Mist. See, this is the problem, look how Shiny Mist looks like, that's Shiny Mist, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, look, this is Shiny Mist. See, I quickly switched it to regular Mist. Like, it looks so similar, and it's so easy to fall for, I'm telling you. You might, once you're watching the video, like, nah, I'll never fall for that, I might should fall for that. But then when it happens, trust me. You're gonna feel dumb. Okay, he's gonna. I'm telling you, he's gonna switch it to a regular Shisui. I, I, unless the guy does some other scam, I don't even know. Uh, uh, 50 value, yeah, fair play. Bro, trying to milk it. He's gonna scam him, man. He's trying to milk it. Okay, ready. Oh, what's the scam then? Oh, okay, he cancelled it for some reason. Yeah, I can see, I see what's gonna happen. He's gonna switch scam. Misclick. I mean, that does happen though, it, it does usually be misclick sometimes, you like actually click a different button and it'll cancel the whole trade. <laughs> let's see, let's see, has he, is, is she shiny? Okay, no, he's put regular, he put regular, he put regular, that's actually kind of smart. Oh, you almost, okay, I thought you fell for it for a second. So yeah, that was pretty much it for today's video. If you did find this video useful, please do let me know by leaving a like and a comment. And please do like the video. Why? Because more people see the video and it will raise awareness towards the scams and anime adventures. Especially when new uh, scams are coming around and some units are rising in value. So the scam becomes a little bit more apparent. So yeah, things like that. So please do leave a comment also if I might have missed something or you want to point out something. Or maybe you want to talk about your own past experiences and how other people might feel about it. Or if they've experienced the same thing. Because there's probably things I've missed out or that I haven't thought when creating this video that you guys have experienced or thought of. So you can let me know and you can let other people know in the comments down below. And then people will heart the comment, like, comment, whatever. More people see the comment, things like that. So it raises awareness. And yeah, and if you do really did, like, if they really did find this video useful or you want to see more of my content because I do have a lot, subscribe to the channel. And yeah, that's pretty much it. It's been Rex and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.